Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the Healthy Deal, another 3S back video tutorial. And uh, here you can see this is a UVW back and texture book, or at least partially UVW back and texture. Um, and a poorly modeled candle and holder. <laughs> and here's another book on top of it. This book's just uh, great material added to it. Um, and here's basically my scene. So you guys can check this out. As you can see, I didn't finish at all. Um, actually, I just erased some parts of it and I made an extremely simple kind of wood uh, background here. Um, Alright, so I'm going to select everything here and just delete it all. Uh, well, everything does. I just want to keep this book here for a second. Alright, and uh, basically this is what we're going to model today. This kind of book here. Uh, as you can see, it's only 98 polygons. Uh, it's quite simple. It's not made for opening, it's just made to be a book. That's closed and you know ready to go for what you uh, just need a book and a seed for any reasons that you may have. You can see I'm just kind of rendering out their reviews. Um, but yeah, this is basically what we're going to model. So I'm going to delete it and make sure we have all our viewports set up. Uh, this should only take us about 10 minutes, so uh, just bear with me and we'll be done. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is create a uh, rectangular box. Uh, most of the time, you want it to be a lot, uh, well, a little bit longer than it is um, tall or wide. Sorry. <coughs> so you should have something that looks like this, <coughs> or at least similar. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and add a uh, height segment here. So that way we have this going all the way around. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just simply model everything that we need to the box in order to make it a uh, book. Which uh, is actually probably a lot easier than you might think. Alright, so the first thing you can do is going to convert it to an editable poly. Uh, you can change the name up here to book. And uh, from here. We're going to go ahead and just start by making the inside of the book, which would be selecting just these right now, and using the bevel. Now you'll notice that something kind of weird happens here, I'm going to keep it in this view. Uh, I'm come here, do this, it just kind of messes up the way the book looks. So we're just going to... Uh, Zero and zero. Now you can do this, uh, or you could also look that you can do is as long as you have three X bags, it's inset. And basically, that does the exact same thing, but only uh, makes it a little bit easier for uh, you to do it. Well, not easier, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and then we'll just kind of squeeze it in just a tight of it here. And Push it around a little bit well. Alright. Now, let's see. Good. Looks like it's a little too far. Okay. Uh, okay, that's good. So basically, this uh, these are your pages right here. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to select this right here, and we're going to select this on both sides. I'll just show you exactly these two, I guess three. There we go. And now we're just going to move this out. And this will just bring a curve into your. Uh, spine of the book. Go bigger. Alright. So there's the spine of the book. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, select the top here 
here all these top edges that you have. And we're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Basically, as you can do the top, we're going to do the bottom because uh, <coughs> with books, they're basically the same exact thing for top and bottom here. And we'll go ahead and chamfer these. Alright, and we're also going to inside here. Check for all these uh, around the bottom edges. So. Uh, that's actually unnecessary, but uh, they'll end up making your book look a little bit better in the end. It's unnecessary if you want to keep it nice and really low poly. Uh, next thing we're going to do, go ahead and select these two uh, edges here. Right in the front of the book. Uh, loop them. Oops. And you should have something like this. And now we're going to chamfer it. And now you should have some rounded, uh, rounded out pages here. You should have something that looks similar to this. Alright. And now what we're going to do is just for a little added detail here, is we're going to scale the Pop in, probably about there, and look for that just a tiny bit. Uh, that's just because that's the front page. This one we're just going to scale in like that. Because uh, you know, the front of the book is a little bit, uh, got a little bit of a bevel to it and stuff, so. Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, another thing we can do. Is chamfer these edges. You notice that we do a lot of chamfering when we create books, mostly because they have uh, so many round edges and such. So something like that. I'll just put a little bit more detail to it. And uh, that looks pretty good as far as the book goes. So let's go ahead now and uh, UVW back this. Now you can add a mesh smooth modifier, which I would suggest doing unless you can do smoothing groups. But since this is more aimed toward beginners, uh, I'm not going to go over uh, smoothing groups. But you'll notice that they, that's uh, a little bit of things that we don't want here. The top's fine, bottom's fine, sides are fine, then you get here, it's all screwed up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this down to zero. That'll just give us a little bit more of a smooth look without adding any extra polygons as well. Alright, um, after you do that, we're going to go ahead and unwrap UVW, and we're going to do this the quickest way possible, and since this is a bot, it's going to work really, really quickly. Uh, you're going to select everything, so make sure you have all this selected up here, and then control A. Alright, and uh, now we're going to use box mapping, and we're going to Click edit, just so we can see how we're going to do this. Got X, got Y, like the first one. Uh, <laughs> that's how I'm about to do I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, so anyway, that just wants to be there. Uh, actually, Chad, sorry, cut that part out. Okay, so once we had the unwrap EDW modifier added, we're going to use edit. Uh, we're going to very quick and, uh, Face, control A, come up with the mapping, the normal mapping, and we use box mapping. Click OK. And there you go, you already have all of your stuff mapped out for you. And uh, really, it's quite self explanatory uh, to what everything is. You can move this around if you want, I'm not really going to because uh, I'm kind of lazy. So I'm just going to keep it like this, <coughs> and uh, I'm not going to render the UVW template. So, the best way to do this is to make it 1024 by 1024. Um, it doesn't look very big, but really it's quite big, quite large. Uh, this will give you the best results for your textures. Uh, they're added. Well, maybe not the best results, but they'll give you good results. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, change this to book.jpg, I think. And, uh, use the asterisk, okay. 
and minimize, minimize. And now you should know already how to uh, put an image on a material, which is what I did here. And you'll notice that all the green lines match up perfectly with all the edges and white lines and so on and so forth. Alright, now what we're going to do is some UBW mapping, or, well, texturing. So go ahead and open up your favorite uh, texture editing software and we'll begin. 